Hello, I'm Audio. This is my glorious channel. Mine. It belongs to me. Though it's hosted on YouTube. I don't know what that means. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so, okay, yeah. This is what I was doing. I was fighting Mori, and I was planning on using some devious, amazing tactics to, to win the battle here at, um, the most bullshit place ever. So, let's do that. Um... I guess I'll just throw Niwa in the back here. Um, no, I'm not even going to bring him. He's just so bad. All right. So this is the capital of... Shit, what's it called? What's the place I'm at? I was just bitching about it. Whatever, we'll go there. Um, Izumo, that's what it was. The capital of Izumo. This battle is, like, always the same. And it's always horrible. I hate it. Iwami Ginzan something is always up front. He's always there. That unit never changes. That musk unit is always there. Sue is always there. The two Mori archers, always there. Izumo tactician, yes. Motonari, yes. Always there. All of them. And it's just a tedious fight. It's really tedious. Um, I hate it. I hate this fight. And it's not possible for me to win normally because... I might be retarded. I don't know. You know, I don't know what the issue is, but I j I've never been able to do it. So, um, hmm. I'm just gonna do this. Accurate shots. Gonna bullshit Matanari, and I'm gonna bullshit everybody here because that's what I feel like they're doing to me by existing and having this lineup. Um, and then assuming EQ doesn't die, he's gonna witty comeback for me. Now, I'd like to explain a mechanic about Matanari that I never did. Um, if you shoot him with a musket unit at any amount of health, the musket unit can have any health. It could be one musket unit, right? And it shoots Maltanari, automatically cuts his health in half. I don't know if I ever mentioned that before, but I'm mentioning it now, so you all know. Um, it's just an interesting mechanic, so do with that what you will. Um, Katz is going down. Uh, unless I can take Maltanari out like this... I don't actually know, um, so we'll see. Good enough. Uh, maybe I could have done this fight legitimately, but this is fine as well. I mean, you can see already, though, that it's like, considering my circumstance, I don't think I would have been able to successfully blow through their units, you know what I mean? Like, even if I had brought a sixth unit and stuff, it's just, it's just hard. It's really hard to do. I don't know. It worked out pretty well, so... Whatever, you know? Oh, not gonna wait for all those, but... EQ's got one more witty comeback. Don't know when I'm gonna throw that out there. We'll see. Um, yeah. And I have no idea what this is either, but... Hopefully I can still do the invitation to a great battle. If not, <laughs> it's gonna be an issue. I thought that I could, and I'm still assuming that I can, so we'll see what happens. Um, well, I guess I can tell you a little bit about Mori House, um, since we're fighting them. They're, you know, they're all based on a real clan. Maltanari was a real person. That was his actual name, Mori Maltanari. Um, two of his daughters have the real names. Teru's the one that doesn't have a real name. Uh, she's fake. But he had three, well, he didn't have daughters in real life either. They were all, um, sons. Um, the important ones, anyway. He had three that actually did stuff in the military and were important. Um... So that's what they're all based on. Um, yeah. Uh, the one that Terry represents, I forgot his real name. He died of disease or some, some bullshit. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. I mean, there are a couple more things, but, oh, wait. There's a certain scene in this game that references a myth about Matanari. And I don't know if I skipped it or not, but... I'll talk about it whenever it comes around. All right, this is new, so we'll watch it. Um, yeah, I have apricot juice in real life. I think it's out of date too, so this could be my last video if I die from this. If that happens, I'm sorry, you know. I'll have somebody else finish my videos. That'd be cool, right? Maybe not. But, uh, the plot's advancing, and 
that's a good thing. Because I was waiting, you know? I was waiting. <laughs> How many parts had gone by where nothing happened? So. Um, anyway, now that I've taken one of Mori's territories, I am able to capture all three of the daughters. Um. So, yeah. That's cool. That makes my life easier. And, uh, they're also all auto-captured when you take Maltanari out. Um, well, I mean, I guess not Maltanari, but Mori. Um. Yeah. So, in this route, I'm not gonna worry about attacking Daidara, the yokai that cursed Matanari. I'll do that in... I think Ron's route. Maybe Kenshin's. That has some interesting... Like... Kenshin's has a lot of different things that can happen, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna plan for it right now. <laughs> I'm just not doing it in this route, so you know that. Um... But uh, you are capable of killing the yokai that cursed Matanari and decursing him, so. Though that doesn't make him easier to handle, okay? That does not make him easier to handle. Hmm. Alright, this bitch. Now, she is my least favorite character ever. Um, her character design is, okay. Has she been introduced? Did she get introduced in this route yet? I don't even know. Have I? I feel like I've spoken about her before. Um. Well, anyway. She, uh. I can't. I don't even remember her name. It's just a clusterfuck of vowels, and I can't. You know, I'd get it wrong if I tried to pull it out, but she's the new antagonist, basically. Um. So that's important. Yeah. Let's do that, and. We will... Oh, let me uh, make a save here, for safety's sake, right? I like to save at the beginning of every turn, despite the autosave, in case it gets erased by some bullshit. Um, now we'll go ahead and do the invitation to, for a battle, and uh, you'll see what's up here. And this is pretty cool. Um, I really like this mechanic of the game a lot. Uh, like, a lot. It's good. And we'll get to hear something we haven't heard for a while, and that's a, that's a beautiful theme. Yeah. Um, but this is basically a capital battle on flat ground. It's not a castle battle, thank God. You know, because that's undoable shit right there. But you do this. If you lose, you get a game over. Um, yeah, that's really it. And then you just go fight them, and then you make your units, and it's good. And, I mean, you can scout if you want, but I'm going to deploy my six best units. Um... You know, which is not some... This is not easy. Like, they put out some heavy hitters. You can see two of the Mori sisters here. Um, Matanari's always here as well. That stupid musket unit's usually here too, and a huge archer or Miko. It's a decent fight, so you want to deploy heavily for it. I probably won't even scout, though. I just can show up more than once. You can take more of Montanari's territories than one. With this, uh, strategy, I guess. I don't know if it's so much a strategy as it is just a... a thing, you know, I don't know. But, uh, there's the theme that we love. Katz has survived so much bullshit this playthrough. I'm so proud of him. Um... Suzume's going, oh yeah. Uh... What should my last unit be here? I? I don't need another tactician. I gotta save some people to defend. Oh god, yeah. Um... Hmm... I just got the guard shiki paper, so that's fine. We'll do that. <sighs> oh, they got a diviner. And two of the sisters, so that's terrifying. No, <laughs> She uses assassination on Suzume, but... Hun, Suzume's immune to that. So, that's... It's pretty much a win for me. We'll fuck up this woman's guard, so that way I can one-shot the musket with Rance, and that's the way to be. Yup. That worked out really, really well. Uh, wow. I'm really pleased with that. Um, hmm, I actually don't know why I deployed both of my warriors like this. I, you know, it's not like it was a surprise that Teru was here. I knew that she was going to be here, so, whatever. 
And just hit her with that. And actually, I will try to capture her. How does that sound? You can see how heavy that hit was, right? That was pretty extreme. And, you know, that is because her intelligence is very, very low. Um, hmm. I'm trying to decide what to do here. I could just go right into a shot thing, but it's still so early in the fight. Um, yeah, do one of these. Just one. <laughs> Drop the guard. Even though, really, the front row, I don't even need a guard unit there anymore. Oh, and, okay, that was cool. Cool job. Hit this. And, you know, there's no way I'm going to lose this already. It's I'm sitting well. And normally I wouldn't have done that with Rance, but he had a defense boost and an attack boost, and Teru didn't have any boosts. So, you know, you can, hopefully at this point, you can tell why I'm doing things if I do them. Um, I don't know. And I'm just going into this because now I am actually running out of turns in the fight. And I don't want Matanari going again, he's just annoying. But uh, yeah, I gotta take Teru out. Um, I should be able to. Should be able to. Let me... Take out this girl with Suzume. Her turn is wasted, and Rance is just gonna go straight into a Rance attack. How's that? It's beautiful! Yeah, baby. You notice her weapon, right? That was a bladed feather duster. And you're like, that's probably shit, right? But I mean, it would cut you up. Like, okay, it's not going to cut through armor. But if someone was just standing there and she even touched them with it, lacerations all over, guaranteed. I don't see how that would benefit a spear unit, though. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, do this. <laughs> if it works, cool. Beautiful. Chance to capture both of them? I'll take it. <laughs> Didn't capture either of them. Cool. That's cool too, you know? I mean, whatever. And now I just won't see either of them in combat forever because they're recovering. So, whatever. But, uh, yeah. So those, both of those fights went rather well. Hmm. Takeda didn't take any territory, but... They're one attack on two ter on three territories away from taking. So if they blitz me, they could potentially take three whole territories. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do about that. I could prevent it, you know? It's like... Hmm. I'm just going to have to think about it. There might be a part coming up here where I defend my territories from Takeda, and it might seem a little sluggish for all of you, but it's probably going to be really necessary, so. That's just how that goes. Um, I really don't want to waste any fans here, but I used a lot of good units. Uh, here, how about I just see you guys in the next